If you're dreaming of owning the all-new Range Rover but can't quite stomach bruising your bottom line that much, the 2014 Range Rover Sport going into its second generation really should be right at the top of your list. Last year, Land Rover stunned us by saying that the new Range Rover would lose 700 pounds thanks to its aluminum architecture and components. Now here at the 2013 New York Auto Show, the 2014 Range Rover Sport is beating that by losing 800 pounds using the same aluminum equipment. That's not the only news though. For the first time, Land Rover is offering this car at the starting level with a 3 liter supercharged 6 cylinder good for 340 horsepower, which by the way starts at $63,495 including delivery. That's a price increase over the previous model, but the real bump comes in with the autobiography model sitting beside me. That car costs $93,295, again including delivery, which is about a $5,500 price increase over last year's car. Then again, this isn't last year's car. It's significantly better, and those aluminum underpinnings are going to help it handle significantly better than that other car did. Based on the way that the Range Rover handles, well-heeled drivers are in for a serious treat. Stepping inside, you'll find the same premium materials that you've no doubt come to expect from any Land Rover product. This car comes with redesigned seats, two rows standard, although for the first time, Land Rover is offering a third row of seats. Don't count on using them very much, though, unless you're planning on driving to Middle Earth to pick up the Hobbits, because Jaguar even admits they're not very big. 19-inch wheels come standard, although you can always upgrade to the 22-inch units, which are much more imposing, handsome, and look better on the car. Speaking of looks, this car gets the same swept back styling you've already seen on the Range Rover inspired by the Evoque. Of course, if you want the full experience, you're going to have to go with the 510 horsepower 5 liter supercharged V8, which of course puts power to a permanent all-wheel drive system, cementing this car's off-road resume.